Palestine, Ramallah, the civil police is undergoing training. A hundred odd police officers are practicing crowd control for a football match. They're being supervised by this French instructor. Since 2006, the European Union has been helping the Palestinian Authority to improve its policing skills. It's important to develop uh, institutions for the Palestinian Authority, for an eventual Palestinian state, underpinning that has to be security, underpinning security has to be a civilian police force that's uh, responsible to a civilian ministry, the Minister of the Interior, and accountable to an independent judiciary. The EU's task is to enable the Palestinian Authority to fully assume its role in the territory. Israel needs um, a Palestinian neighbor which you know, has the rule of law, is secure, and in that way, Israel hopefully will feel confident to withdraw from the occupation. To achieve this, the authority of the Palestinian government must be effective over the whole territory. This huge worksite will be the future headquarters of what is called here the Mukata. The European Union financed the construction of the Ministry of Interior headquarters and the police headquarters. Where there is security and justice, economic affairs can prosper. Olives are crucial to the population. They offer the main source of income for 100,000 families. Consequently, the European Union has focused one of its projects on the exporting of Palestinian extra virgin olive oil that is certified organic and conforms to fair trade criteria. At present, Palestine exports only 2,000 tons of olive oil per year. That's only a small proportion of the amount produced. So the European Union has allocated tax-free quotas to increase the main agricultural exports from the territories. European aid also finances the construction of schools to help improve pupils' access to teaching and trains teachers to improve the quality of that teaching. European aid to the Palestinian Authority is given using a global approach via the financing of projects as we have just seen, but also via humanitarian aid to the refugees and direct financial aid to institutions. It's for the EU assistance that we still have a Palestinian Authority. If they did not engage heavily in providing assistance to the Palestinians, the Palestinian Authority could have fallen down during the years 2006-2007. This direct aid helps the Palestinian Authority to provide the same basic services to the population as any other state. The EU's objective is to create a viable, independent and democratic Palestinian state with a view to finding a solution to the conflict between Palestine and Israel.